it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel or hi pillar if you're new here. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my top three favorite drugstore blushes and I actually started this series here on my channel earlier this year where I talked about my top three favorite lip products and then I moved on and talked about my top three favorite highlighters. In that video I actually did mention that the next one that I was going to do was a top three favorite brow products from the drugstore and that one's actually going to take a little bit longer to do than what I anticipated because I'm trying to figure out what brow pencil I really want to put in the third position. I have two brow products picked out that I already know hands down that I would totally recommend for you guys, but I'm just trying to figure out what the third one would be. So in the meantime, I thought that I would do a blush video and just give you guys three blush options because I know how challenging it can be at the drugstore especially to pick out, you know, items and not knowing whether or not they're good or not. And, you know, the drugstore is just so overwhelming with makeup and, you know, YouTubers here on YouTube. They can be a bit overwhelming with what they recommend. So that is why I decided to start this series and just narrow it down to three products that I think that you guys should try out. Now, I try to select in these three products something for everyone, so that way, you know, I kind of cover the basics and I kind of cover something that everybody wants and looks for in, you know, a lip product or a highlighter or even a blush. And the great thing about these blushes here is that all three of these are under $5. Yeah, I said it, $5 only under $5. We've got a $3 blush, a $2 blush, and then a $3.99 blush in this video. So, for without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, let's start out with this blush first from Wet n Wild. These retail for $3 and you can get these anywhere that Wet n Wild is sold. I'll have links down below in the description box where you guys can go check out where to purchase these blushes. But they have a good range of color choices of these blushes. I have this one in the shade Pearlescent Pink and it's just a really pretty mauve um, deep pink color. That's kind of like how I would describe it. It does pull a little bit dark on my skin tone and this blush particular does have little bits of glitter in it and I know some of you probably are not going to like this blush for this factor. So if you don't like glitter in your blushes, make sure before you purchase these in store that they don't have glitter because some of them do and some of them don't. I don't really mind the glitter. Um, I actually will skip highlighter whenever I do wear this blush because it is so glowy and glittery like on my face that I really don't want to overdo the glow. So that's why I will skip on highlighter whenever I do wear this blush. You do have to go in with this with a very light hand because these are super pigmented. So be very, very cautious when you are using these blushes because you will wind up looking like a clown if you use way, way too much. Um, I just really recommend going in with a light hand. Another thing that I would like to mention is that the packaging is not that great on these blushes. In fact, the packaging on this one actually has broken as you can see but you do get a big pan for three dollars so that's really not bad at all it blends out very nicely it can look very natural on the skin if you really take time to blend this out so if you're looking for a really pretty glowy blush i recommend giving this one a go Alrighty, and then next up I have this blush from e.l.f. And this blush retails for $2. And these blushes only come in two shades. They only come in blushing and shy. And I have this one in the shade shy. And this one is just a really pretty peachy pink blush. I actually have it on my cheeks right now and I love it. It's so pretty and so natural looking. It is not superly intensely pigmented like the wet and wild one that I just showed you which I really like because this is going to be awesome if you're a makeup beginner because you really can build up this blush if you want to and really just kind of build it up and work with it. It blends out beautifully. It looks super natural on the skin. This is literally my go-to blush for every day. I just love this 
beautiful peachy pink color. I think it looks really pretty on my skin tone. Again, this is the shade Shy, if I did not mention that already. And it retails for $2. I really think that you guys need this in your life if you are a makeup beginner. All right, and then last but certainly not least, I have a blush that I was sent in a PR package, but I don't really let that type of thing affect the way that I review a product or what I think about the product. So obviously, I must really like this blush as well if I'm mentioning it in my top three favorite blushes. And this would be the Essence Mosaic Blush and All You Need Is Pink. This is a gorgeous pink shade. This is just a straight up bubblegum pink blush, which I love. It's exactly like the e.l.f. one. It's not super intensely pigmented, so you really can build this up on the skin if you want to or need to. I love the little design of the blush as well. Now, this is a satin finish blush, even though it doesn't claim to be a satin finish. Um, satin just means that it does not have glitter in it, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. This is really pretty for the spring and the summertime. Sadly, I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this blush um, during the fall and winter months. But for the spring and summertime, I think it's really, really pretty. Um, this one retails for $3.99 and you can pick this up at Target or Ulta. Alright y'all, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that I helped you pick out a good blush for you and for your skin tone. Let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite blush from the drugstore and maybe I'll get around to trying it really soon. So thank you so much again for watching and I really hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye!